possible possible. Despite the fact that they had to be masked in the shadows while not being looking all sinister a few seconds ago. And we are back. So, last time, we discovered we are in the universe of the, of um, Martian successor Nantisco, or some variant thereof, and now Shitose is working with the, the Nantisco. And we have a slightly different lineup here. We have Ruri, who is a lower XP than uh, the captain of the Yamato. We have the Super Estevalis, which is not piloted by Nandisto's protagonist, uh, Akito. Um, and of course, us in the Vanguard. So we have a much tighter line out of, char line of characters. And. We don't get any more scenarios until Chapter 12 for the DLC. So, those don't come back up again until we reach the unified plotline. So. And we have um, installed parts in the SDVLS and the Fang Ray. Nothing in the Nondisco. Nondisco already has shields. Um. Kind of squishy ship. All right, let's. Sabaruda. We have a bunch of attack points. Let's get him proud A's. I don't know if he's gonna stick around with us, but let's make sure he's got the stuff he needs to unlock those skills. And with that, on to the next mission. By the way, we're on Earth, and it looks like actual Earth. Very different bridge design bridge of the Yamato, and I, I, I like having this art here as a contrast. Woo! Woo! Are you alright, Saburuta? Have you determined the affiliation of that unlicensed robot's pilot? I don't know. Oh, she's not talking? No, she's talking. I just can't get my head around what she's saying. Just a thought, but might you have been a little, uh, distracting? She is very pretty, and I know how you are. She is pretty. I'll grant you that. Here I thought the entire Jovian army was full of brave, stone-faced warriors. Remember, the defining piece of work, artwork in Jovian culture is a super robot anime from the 1970s. Aside from me, they most certainly meant business, yes. The problem was we could be steadfastly, steadfastly committed to charging in the wrong direction. Hmm, is that a transmission from Rear Admiral Akiyama? No, that code means it's from Prospector. Nurgle, then. What could they possibly want? Or Nurgal. That breeze feels what? That breeze feels wonderful. The spell of the lake is a little strong, however. Not enough to spoil the moment for me. Particularly since it's been a very long time since I've been able to spell, you know, lakes. They really are from another universe, a place where Earth is on the brink. Our Earth is on the brink of destruction, no less. Does this mean you believe me? You don't strike me as being capable of lying. Not to mention... Well... Not to mention what? It appears a separate but similar event occurred. Also, you seem like an overly enthusiastic and ganky uh, anime protagonist, so there's that. That could be one of my fellow crew members. What can you tell me about it? 
Nothing at this time. Sorry. Is it classified information? No, that other anime series doesn't have giant robots in it aside from the video game episode, so... That, so that doesn't count. No, not exactly. It's information that does not exist. It, it's what? How, how is that even... It means she doesn't know, Chitose. It's just something that happens in our world. There was this one time that these group of people who called themselves mutants showed up. Called the Sabertooth and Blink and... Yeah, that was just... That was a weird day. Information is tightly controlled here. Sometimes it just disappears. It would never exist to begin with. In this case, there was a report that an unidentified object suddenly appeared. There were no follow-up reports. Even records of the report itself has vanished. Sweetie, that, that's called a cover-up. That reminds me, something similar happened when I researched this world over the last week or so. History and culture, for instance. I can't put a figure on why or how, but things felt off. Information about the Lizard War and such are prime examples of that kind of tampering. The war between the Earth and the Jovians that happened two or three years ago. At first, they told us armies of unmanned weapons had once again returned to attack us. That turned out to be a fabrication. In reality, Earth's mightiest powers were chasing immigrants away. From the Moon, to Mars, and ultimately to Jupiter. So that's the other side of the story. That explains why all the books and news articles I read have left a bad taste in my mouth. It's a very cheerful dystopian society. Your instincts were correct, Chose. These revisions happen often in this world. For example, we have always been at war with East Asia. Yes, I realize we are in East Asia, but th 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 that's the joke. Everything is subject to these restrictions, from flight paths to surveillance satellites. People even think there's a huge continent hidden in the Pacific. Probably a huge continent hidden in the Pacific. They're saying the information about the Yamato might have fallen under one of these restrictions, too. Given the current situation, I believe the simplest solution is for you to remain under our protection. Aboard this ship? He. Not as goes autonomous squad, and as such, all decisions, personal included, are entrusted to me. We are currently fighting to suppress the now frequent terror attacks and determine who is behind them. You may join us if you wish, just so say. Additionally, you are free to chart your own course from now on. Thank you! I need to talk to someone about that, actually. Excuse me. Yes? Understood. I shall ask her myself. Tose, the Senpuji concerned would like to act as your guarantor. Senpuji who? Or should I say, the Senpuji? Concern, the largest conglomerate in this world. Whenever I see, uh, whenever I see offices like this, the general thought I have is, this is not the office of someone who actually works in their office and uses a space to do business. This is the workspace of this is the workplace and workspace of someone whose animators are trying to make them, to save themselves effort down the line. Mr. Senpuji, your guest from the Nandisco squad are here. Thank you, Izumi. Please show them in. Yes, sir. That must be Maito Senpuji, the fabled 16-year-old nice guy running the entire Senpuji concern. Personal secretary and a butler at his side? I mean, this kid's, this kid's got his maid. I wonder if he pilots a super robot. Yeah, that'd be crazy. What kind of person has a butler and a maid while pounding a super robot? Our captain's no slouch when it comes to rising to a stop at such a young age either. Major Rui Hoshino, Captain of the Autonomous Nandisco Squad's Nandisco B. It is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Senpuji. Pleasure is mine. Meeting you face to face is a great honor, Captain Hoshino. Allow me to thank you on behalf of Senpuji Heavy Industries for safeguarding the latest robot we've developed. I'm sorry? I'm talking about the Vang Ray. I, uh, I, I don't know what... Do the fine job, Satoshi. Please leave the rest to us. Aoki, please escort our guests to the other room. So you're going to steal the Vang Ray and take credit for its invention. Y you're a dick. Very well, sir. Pleasure to meet you, Satoshi. I am Kichiro Aoki, butler to the Senpuji family. This way, please. I, I, but, wait, wait, wait just a minute! It's okay, Shitose. We'll, we'll work out the details. 
but Soji, Tatsu, you were in on this too? It was some luck though. Who would have thought we'd get attacked just to be prepared for live fire tests? Leave it to us and Puji Heavy Industries test pilot to handle the situation and wipe out the attackers. Did you two crazy kids get mind whammied? I, I was a test pilot? It's okay now. We don't have to worry about anything else. These guys will take care of it. Have you gotten mind whammied? Have you been zapped with um, brainwashing juice? He's exactly right, Kisaragi. He won't let any harm befall you. I hate to interrupt this little show, but... I'm sorry, Soji. I've already told them everything. The Fang Ray and I came from another world, and... Pardon me, did you say another world? Yes. Let me get this straight. You mean to tell me that you, that Chitose, that you, Chitose, and Soji are people from another world? That's right. Well then, that certainly explains why Oki, Osaka and Hamada had a strange feeling about the Vang Ray. It, it, like, it seemed like the, desti like the desperation ploy of people who are on the, on a, a world on the verge of destruction, who slapped a whole bunch of as many weapons as they possibly could on an engine and called it a day and, and sent it out to fight. Tose, why would you? Forgive me, Soji. I can't carry a lie around me with me in my entire life. It's not how I roll. Still, you could have showed me. Told me. Then I wouldn't look like a total idiot. But you are a total idiot, Soji. See, that's the truth, Shitose. Yes, yes it is. I'm sorry I kept it from you, Tatsu. Oh, I don't care about that. I could have done anything if you had told me such an absurd tale when you arrived. That's not true, Tatsu, and you know it. You came rushing to, he rushing to help once you heard that Shitose had been captured by the military. And without that, you, could, you wouldn't have met me, which means I wouldn't... I never would have asked Maito to be your guarantors. For that, I must thank you both. You had no reason to listen to the pleas of a retired employee. Not mention Shinguji, and I am extremely glad I got to meet our otherworldly guests. That's the Maito Puji I've heard so much about. You really are a bit of a softie. Okay, so it wasn't nothing sinister going on, just trying to run a con game, only for um, Matose to just basically screw it all up with her honesty. Jeez, Saburuda, don't say that to his plate, to his face. It's fine. I should shed my title anyway so we can talk as equals. This kid is really something. He has quite the presence for a teenager. Don't turn into a show to con. Um, Shitose. Now, Shitose, allow me to complete to properly introduce myself. I am Maito Senpuji, CEO of the Senpuji Concern. I am his personal secretary, Izumi Masubara. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Mr. Senpuji. I really appreciate you agreeing to be the guarantor of someone you had met. You protected Senpuji Heavy Industries' Aoto factory. The least I can do to show my gratitude. I assume now... I now assume... Ah, and now I assume you will go with the Nandisco? Yes. Uh, hey, hey, wait, Tose. I'm not sure what I can do to help them, but I've been reunited with the Vang Ray, and I want to put his power to good use. So you will fight for justice? For justice? I wouldn't get that poetic about it, but... We welcome you with open arms. The Nandisco Squad always has room for more firepower. I feel like this is said with her with him holding one of, her, one of her hands in both of his hands. And sparkles around his, his head as he's trying to slam the charm into high gear. Our captain is currently confirming your ID and affiliation with her superior. And I, th I think we'll have the flexibility to take you on, seeing as we're on a mission from the Federation. Thank you so much for all of this. I'm glad this is working out, Chitose. Senpuji, you are, of course, more than welcome to join us yourself. Where is this coming from? We are the employee of the military. However, part of Nergal is also, is also cooperating with us. I'm aware. While we do consider Nergal to be one of our chief rivals, we have partnered with them on certain business ventures in the past. Sorry, that should have been in the feminine voice. Which is how we came to a mutual agreement that we would vouch for Kisaragi. And you understand that we have someone on our team who understands Puji just as well as you do, Nergal. And that would be Prospector, correct? 
good old Crosby. Uh, how did you... Ah, ah careful, Yoki. You beat me to the punch there. I really thought I'd get the jump on you here. Uh, Nevertheless, I've got high hope for you, Mr. Sinpuji, and the rumored might gain. Harry, Saburuda, prepare to deploy immediately! Why, what happened? Terrorists have attacked the Federation base. It just attacked us yesterday! Those damn fools are getting bolder by the minute. Or just getting really repetitive and, and just showing a clear lack of imagination of their battle tactics. I'm not voicing that. So say. I'm going with them, Soji. Damn it! What the hell is their problem? Am I the only one left here? This is another one of our protagonists from, uh, not just come. How very persistent as befits a captain. Fine, I'll send you to hell with my own two hands! Ah, he was in my blind spot! Right in front of me! Die! Time there, Ryoko! What the? Look who decided to show up! Are you? Don't. It is Akito, a protagonist of the original series. You are. You are. They're coming. Get ready. Of course, this is after Prince of Darkness. Are you really Akito? When he got all angsty and grim because he got tortured for several years and then had his sense of taste removed. The all enemies within three turns. Okay. So we have a small group, batch of guys over here. All right. And we have one of the, the Bata general units, and then we have a boss unit right here. All right, so we have Well, the focus for that one. Right. So, the close range has more damage and a higher hit and crit chance. Interestingly, it also has less ammo. They also have a shared ammo pool, I think. Demo on because I want to see its attacks. And it does have turned, and if those who are watching the archive, I've turned off my webcams. So this can see everything now. It's still covering up a little bit of information, namely the EX count at the top of the screen and the type of attack this is, whether it's air versus air, or air versus ground, or that sort of thing. Can it allow you to carry on? I could do a man a few words. Everyone's flying, so I'm going to stay airborne. I'm going to move up. Actually, before I do some stats... The human north side. Neither of you have any assist or support abilities. So I just kind of maybe you guys move separately. Okay, the large rail cannon cannot can't be used after moving, and I'm not in a position to shoot at anybody from here. Oh, 
So the missing out now is close up and use the rapid rifle. I see what finishing that one off. You little, you've got a lot of nerve attacking our base and my fellow soldiers. Don't underestimate the power of the lion sickle. I'll avenge every last one of them. God, I need to rewatch Nagisko. First kill goes to Ryoko. We have three more around. Let's see if they see if they close in next turn. Check skills. Get each of our assist and excel. Increases movement for one turn. Increases damage. That last until I get hit. Heals and increases damage taken until I get hit. So, I'm going to activate that. Both of those will save us some time. Right here I get to use the large barrel cannon. The boss is actually going to try to hit me. Uh, very likely to hit me. What do I have for other attacks? Too far to use a distortion attack. He's more likely to hit. full of aids since this guy's not going to hit me right here. Or make him less likely to hit me because I can't hit him back effectively. You're full health. You are full health. Let's hit you with a distortion attack. you up really good so when you attack me later I counter will finish you off Ooh, I'm, that, that burned through a lot of my energy I need to be more careful how I use that those are the distortion attack and you have a lot more energy to do it with remember that Focus to use it yet. And I'll have you take out that bata.
至近距離まで接近するそこ All right. So, I have all three of the bots in a position where I can suck where they can go down next turn. And persist is still active on both characters. Nobody's the point to use the ES action cleave attack yet. So let's end phase. And then when they attack me, I can finish them off this turn. Yep, you'll go down to the anchor claw. Rifle, which I haven't attacked with yet. And level up! Okay, this is my energy we build, but this is life. Large rail cannon, no, it's an energy attack. What else can use? No. I need to finish you off. Alright, so the first time I've actually gotten a kill with this attack. Little variation for it to kill. Okay. All right, now you're going up and closing the melee with Akito. Let's just straight up engage. Fokushin, I will crush you. I should try not to scrape you. Grasp that. I, the distortion feels like my buff helps out there. Finish it. Oh, nice! Does it kill him? Round three. All attacks become critical. Let's do that. Got a barrier. I'm real low on juice. You know what? I should finish it in one shot. Here, 
your commands. Okay, let's let's go for it. Hopefully using that makes for a sure crit. Fingers crossed. Oh, 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 going for the crit also makes it a sure hit. Yes! Boom! Goes the dynamite. Got him and leveled up. SP point is mine, and we got an item drop. Ah, I screwed up. I'll get you back for this next time. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. No, I would take you back. Hey, you. We're not done yet. Oh crap, burn through all that juice. What the heck are those? There, that base is our target. All units attack! This ought to make the boss happy. All that's left is to show up the power of Master Wolfguy's very own Teagle 5656. Arc, we're outgunned, as usual. And we're jumping to conclusions just yet. Hey! The Nondisco! That is you, right, guys? It's Nondisco B, the Nondisco successor. Fury! It's a time, Ryoko. Who is piloting the Black Mac? That's... Don't say a word. Captain, the Black Mac says no signs of responding to fight repeating hail it. Hmm. Captain, how do you respond? You should focus on defeating the terrorists first. Commence our attack. Hard to pull you right away, Shitose. I wouldn't have it any other way, Saburuda. I mean, I'm not happy that the base is under attack or anything. I get it. We, I know what you meant. We're counting on you. Well, I wouldn't be much help on my own. All right, Citizen 99. I really need you to show me your good side. Apology accepted. Oh no, not you again. There's no time for idle talk. The enemy is before you. I know, but. I shall pilot. Destroy the enemies at once. Roger that. I guess I better deal with what's in front of me as if there were any other options. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.